Hey folks, <clears throat> so I wanted to talk really quickly um, to the people who are thinking about buying their first uh, PCP air rifle. Um, <clears throat> there's something I call building your platform. And so, you know, most people start out with a, um, an air rifle and a pump, and that's fine. And you're going to be happy with that. Um, you'll get to experience the accuracy of air rifles and... Um, uh, not of air rifles, but of PCP air rifles. Um, but eventually you're going to want to go to the woods. You're going to want to take a walkabout, as people like to say. And uh, it sucks putting a pump in your backpack and you're carrying your rifle and, you know, you shoot it a few times and you got to pull the pump out and pump it back up. And, um, it was doable. I did that for my first year of shooting PCPs. Um, but... I said, you know, this sucks. I don't want to carry this thing in my... I had to use a, a, a snowboarder's backpack to fit a, the pump in, right? Because it's tall. <laughs> and even the pump handle stuck, st stood out of the top of the backpack a little bit. So um, was not, it's kind of cumbersome to carry. So I said, you know, let me get uh, look at these, what they call ninja bottles, I guess. And uh, the ninja bottles, um, <clears throat> they work. Um, the first Ninja bottle I bought was a uh, half liter, and I would pump that up to 3,200 PSI. And, um, I could shoot, you know, not all day long, but a couple hours, two, three, four hours. I could uh, um, get out of, uh, two, three, four hours I could get of shooting um, with that half liter bottle. Um, but I wanted to take multiple air rifles out sometimes, and uh, eventually I moved to a carbon fiber bottle and got a two liter bottle and the valve that goes with it so you can uh, fill up your air rifle and uh, i see those all the time for 360 especially like that one that's from Hotson, right don't buy a brand name like that that's uh, uh just a gimmick they charge way too much for those things you can get a carbon fiber bottle off of uh amazon for around <clears throat> around 200 bucks and you can get a um a valve for around 50 bucks so for about 250 bucks you can get a carbon fiber two liter bottle and that'll make you happy. I have uh, three air guns right now. Um, one has a 3,500 PSI uh, fill. The other one's filled to uh, 3,000. And then I have two that are filled to 2,400 PSI. And I can take all of those out and shoot to my heart's content. <clears throat> um, Two-hour shooting sessions are pretty much normal for me once I go to the woods. And uh, I can shoot all day, you know, shoot those two hours, three hours of uh, shooting and still have plenty of air when I come home. Um, so building a platform, it takes, I'd say, almost $1,000. Um, so to start out, you need about 300 bucks minimum. You know, $200 air rifle, $100 pump, um, you're out there shooting. But uh, um, once you get into it and you start to love it, maybe you'll buy another air rifle that's a little more powerful, you really need to buy the bottle. So what is a platform? It's your um, rifle and pump or pistol and pump. They're making some really nice PCP pistols nowadays. Um, and then uh, you need a bottle and you need a compressor. Uh, I think it took me probably two years to build my platform. And so now I'm completely happy. I got a compressor. I fill up my um, carbon fiber bottle to 4,000 PSI maybe 4,200 PSI actually. And, um, I can fill my, uh, 3,500 PSI rifle literally like all day long. <laughs> it never ran out of air two, three hour shooting sessions, take it home, go out two or three hour shooting sessions. You know, I don't know I've never reached the capacity. I've never, um, even gone down to a thousand PSI on my bottle after I pumped it up to 4,000. So, um, it's a little, um, expensive but don't let it stop you um some really nice rifles in the lower end you know you have the beeman qb chief not qb chief it's the beeman chief and the chief two are um very good platforms very good rifles i should say um my current rifle favorite rifle is the beeman bullpup I bought a 25 cal, and I got not a bad thing to say about it. You can shoot like a master with the thing. Um, makes you feel like you're a good shooter, maybe even when you're not, right? Um, <clears throat> anyway, 
rambled on a little bit, but for those of you thinking about getting a PCP, I would say, yeah, go ahead and do it. Um, there's nothing wrong with brake barrels, but you know, right now, brake barrels and PCPs on the lower end are kind of uh, equivalent. There's uh, brake barrels have become pretty expensive these days. You used to be able to pick one up at Walmart for a hundred bucks. Um, you know, you could get the Beeman RS2, which was my uh, the first air rifle I loved. I had a couple before that, but um, and I won't talk bad about brands, but uh, um, I didn't like the the ones that I had before that. Um, but it could never shoot like I shoot with the PCP. Um, just this last weekend, I went out and I was shooting at uh, 140 yards, and I was basically taking the the center of the target out. You know, two, three magazines through the bullseye at 140 yards. Um, so I can't shoot like that with a, a brake barrel. Um, I know some people are excellent and maybe my brake barrel sucks. Um, I could only shoot at 25 yards, maybe two inch groups if I was on a good day. Um, yeah, but with the uh, all the PCPs that I bought... Um, Actually, I built two of them, and I bought two of them. But for all my PCPs, I can shoot accurately um, by just doing what people do. You put the crosshairs on the target, boom, you know, and then again and again and again. Sometimes it's hole and hole, which is really amazing, you know, especially at higher uh, force levels. So anyway, I rambled on quite a bit about PCPs. But for those of you buying your first PCP, I would say, go, yeah, go ahead and do it. Um, they're awesome guns. Um, so not what, not your grandfather's gun, not the gun that you shot when you were a kid, you know, um, those, uh, let's say the Daisy 880 or the Crossman 2400. I can't remember what the, uh, uh the best, the Crossman was cause I had the Daisy back when, but those shoot like, uh, nine foot pounds, 11 foot pounds, right? Which is fun. Great for accuracy and all that. But, um, Maybe you want to hunt with it someday. Maybe you have to hunt with it someday. Um, I prefer the higher um, foot-pound rifles. And uh, the Beeman Bullpup right now is, puts out 43 uh, foot-pounds, which is uh, pretty substantial. I remember watching a um, show um, where they were talking about, you know, what does it take to be a, a lethal shot. And about a 36 foot-pounds is uh, what it takes to become uh, lethal, what the Army considers to be a lethal level. Um, so just a piece of information for you guys. Um, that's it. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a great day. Feel free to ask questions.